Hello everyone, welcome to Devotions with Stoney. I am Stoney Kalango, thank you for joining us in today's devotion. In today's devotion we'll be talking about God's amazing grace. God's amazing grace. There's a famous song, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now I see. That song comes from the story of the man that we will be talking about in today's devotion. He's none other but John Newton. John Newton. You see, John Newton was an Englishman born in 1925. He lost his mother at a very young age. And so he followed, he followed his father at the age of 12 um, in, into basically the sea world because his father was a sailor. Uh, he tried to join the Navy and he did for a little bit but was unsuccessful in doing so. Um, he got out of that. He actually had a rough life, a rough life as a young man. In fact, he got to rock bottom um, as there was one time where he walked. He, he, he was actually working for a slave trader and basically um, for many years he just worked as a slave trader and there was one one special day, one special day where you wouldn't call it special if you were there at that time, but um, he was in a ship and they had encountered a storm and the storm had basically bit up the ship so much that they, there began to be gaping holes in the, in the bottom of the ship. And you know, all the people in there just basically in a hurry, in a frenzy rushed to try to plug the holes in the ship and uh, after a very trying and tough time of just trying to plug those holes they were successful and you see after that just right after that he said the words oh but for the grace and mercy of god he did not even realize what words he was saying but when he spoke those words uh, it kind of cut him afterwards it was like well, what did i even just say and it dawned on him from that moment that it was just by the grace of God that he was alive and at that moment John Newton had an encounter with God where he understood and felt the power of God's grace in his life you see he didn't exactly live leave the um, serving that ship as he had no job at the time but eventually at the age of 39 he became he became a uh, young minister in the Church of England serving the Lord. Now, funny enough, his mom, before she died, her last prayer to the Lord was that one day he would be a minister. And though he took him over 30 years to get to that point, he finally did. And he became a minister in the gospel of Christ. And of course, from his life, we have the song, one of the most famous, I will even say the most famous Christian song of all, Amazing Grace. There was a man who encountered God in the midst of chaos. There was a man who encountered the power of God's saving grace in the midst of a friend, in the midst of a very chaotic situation. Sometimes God will allow us to experience things in the storm um, so we can find him, so we can get to know him. God's amazing grace is so rich that it is enough for all the sins of the world. I want to read us a scripture. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl has sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all not made the standard that God demands. We are all not righteous. We were all sinners. But we've been justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Being justified freely by God's grace through the redemption that's in Christ Jesus. Today, I want you to take today and reflect 
on the offer that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's death on the cross did for you. It offered you God's amazing grace. You are never going to be enough for God. You are never going to be perfect. You might look on yourself like John Newton said, did and said, Oh, what a sinner am I? Oh, who can forgive a person like me? God didn't go, yes, you deserve what you're suffering. You do not deserve my goodness. He said to us, you don't deserve anything good from me, but in my own sovereign will, I will grant you grace only if you put your trust and faith in me. If you believe me, you have the keys to eternal life. So today, spend your day reminiscing and thinking and meditating on the amazing grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you for joining me in today's devotion. I'll see you in the next one. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so today. If you've not liked our page on Facebook, hey, what are you waiting for? God bless you, and I'll see you in next week's devotion on Tuesday. Bye-bye for now.